Well, in terms of the genetic analysis of Richard III, I'm just finishing off the identification paper. So that's been the paper where I've been using DNA analysis as a strand of evidence to prove that these are indeed the remains of Richard III. So that's where I am at the moment. So the next stage is actually doing the whole genome of Richard. So that is reading his entire genetic makeup. And the way it came about was actually I was talking to Sir Alec Jeffries and we were discussing about how the technology exists now to do this sort of thing. And he said to me, well, would you be interested in doing that? So I've been really, really fortunate in that the, the Leverhulme Trust, the Wellcome Trust and Alec have all come in together to provide the funding for me to do this sort of analysis. In terms of doing Richard's entire genome, what I've been doing up until now is I've been looking at small segments of Richard's DNA and that of his relatives to see whether or not they match. This is actually reading all of Richard's DNA. So when I'm going to be doing this sequencing is I'm going to be able to look at things like was he genetically predisposed to particular diseases? We're going to be able to look at things like um, eye color, hair color, um, things that tell us about what he looked like to some extent. That's interesting, for example, because the portraits differ and being able to look at eye color and hair color will tell us which portraits are more accurate in terms of, of what he actually looked like. Uh, I'm interested in things like scoliosis. We know a little bit more about the genetic predisposition towards that as, as more and more research is being done. I'm interested in looking to see whether or not he was genetically predisposed. And finally, the idea is that that this will become a resource for people to look at. We're actually still in the early stages of genetic analysis. We don't know everything about our genomes, but by making this available to the public, it's something that people can come back to for decades to become. He becomes a learning resource for everybody. This project is important because he will be the first known individual where we've been able to do his entire genetic sequence. It's a really nice project. It brings together um, history, archaeology, and genetics, all to bring different layers of information to learn more about Richard. Uh, he will be reinterred soon, and so the ability to do this is, just exists for a short amount of time. And I think it's going to be a really, really nice project to learn more about Richard III as a person.